Welcome back to another episode on the RX-7. Just kidding, I've got the 79 today and we are at one of my favorite spots in New South Wales, a little gem north of Sydney, about 100 k's from where I live and we are out here in Catherine Hill Bay. So while we're waiting, I am packed to the bare basics this trip. Just got my Esky, my dual battery set up. It's charging right now up to 84% already and um, got my swag, my brand new Oz10 RS1. I've never slept in a swag before, so this is gonna be my first experience. Um, but uh, yeah, um, got my awning and got my fishing rods, which is gonna be the most important part of this trip. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I don't, haven't really packed much cause just wanna enjoy it, keep it simple this trip. All right, got my eBay tie deflator. Had this for about two years, can't fold it. So with this track, I like to have it down to 18 PSI because it is so bumpy. Alrighty, look who showed up. Marcus and his um, NAD Hilux. Yeah, it's a nice car. It's alright. <laughs> this is Fishy Cami. I call him Fishy Cami. One of the best fishermen I know. Uh, joining us is Denzel and Katie. Funny thing is, they've never been camping before. And Marcus decided it was a good idea to bring them here in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Toilets and shower? No, no toilets, no shower. And yeah, no, just a bucket. But anyways. Um, oh yeah, did you bring the thunder bucket? Yeah, I bought it. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you guys would want to use it. Um, anyways, uh, this track gets worse every single time we come. So it's my fifth year here and um, it just gets worse and worse because uh, I think people try to get up the track and just tear it up. Um, so hopefully we won't have any issues. I don't actually have a winch right now, uh, but Marcus has a winch and um, I do have some recovery gear. So anyways, let's see how we go. I've never been proper wheeling in this, hey? Just all, well Queensland was all right. It wasn't as like intense though. It wasn't proper wheeling. All right, so this is the first part of the track and it's pretty, pretty steep. This is probably the deal breaker for most people, but there's only really one way to go up and it's through the middle there. You just gotta ride the rut. <laughs> well done Marcus, that's like, you know, super loaded as well, so he's done a great job, good drive. Walk straight up it with fishy cami. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that was that was my first time wheel lifting like that, so it was pretty pretty cool. Um, the next part is just a, a series of ruts up to like a bunker. Um, 
not sure what kind of bunker it is. So if you know what it is, it could be like a World War II bunker. But if you, uh, if you know what it is, be sure to comment below. So yeah, this is just a, a fire trail. I think it's actually Minecamp Road. Um, and uh, it used to be pretty rutted, but it looks better than before. So maybe someone's come and leveled it out. Yeah, Cammy went left last time. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm not sure. I've seen people take nice uh, car photos in there, but um, yeah, I don't know what it is actually. Does it look like a World War II bunker to you? It does. Yeah. Marcus can go the chicken track and I'll go the, the man 79 series track. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. You gotta drop off on the left. You have to, you have to, you have to down the Nice and slowly. Straight. Straight wheels. Straight wheels, yeah. Yep. Your front's about to drop in. Your front left's about to drop. Good brakes. About to drop down. The left bit. Go slow. You're about to drop in. That big one. You're gonna drop it out. Yeah. Right. We'll just ride the rock. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you're in the rock. You're about to drop it back on now. PCL, 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 man. Oh, yeah, that was that was pretty terrible. It's that drop off is just huge. Um, this next part is pretty straightforward. Um, it's just a little fire trail down to the coast and um, yeah, looks like I, I tore a, a guard. So, Jono, if you're watching this, <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, my fault, my fault. I, I, saw, I saw the rock and I decided to reverse up and not remembering that the mud flap actually hangs pretty low. So it's a pretty strong mud flap. Got to give it to him. I didn't even PPF it. I didn't even wax it. The way I see it, if I'm gonna break something, I have to replace it anyway. So what's the point? What's a scratch, eh? What's a scratch? What's a scratch, he says. 
What's a what's scratch? A <laughs> what's a scratch? <laughs> it's not a good feeling. That's all right. Oh. I always try to ride the outside corner on this one. I can't now because of the height. There used to be a lot of sand here. It's all gone. Probably washed down. You all that rain. Yeah, all that yeah. rain just washed, washed it down the hill. Stump. I don't know what I was hitting. What am I hitting? All right, so this is a common problem with the 79s. Only problem with them, really. But the leaf pack, I'm caught on the leaf pack. So we're gonna have to find a way to drive around this. Um, yeah, but the problem is it's so shrubby that I don't wanna, I wanna tear my roof rack off. Look at that. Yes. So this next section is really, um, really stinky. Straight. Uh, huge drop off and also all the sand, this used to be all sand, it's been washed away. Yeah, these tracks, there's no, there's no way to go around it. You just gotta go straight through the middle. Can't really go anywhere, just sound back to each side, so you'll be right. And let's hook a right here. This is a really cool spot. There's a ladder there you can abseil down and actually takes you down all the way to the shark hole. You can tell, you can see just down there, it's a bit of water coming through. So it looks like it's high tide and the water's coming through. Sometimes it comes all the way up to there on a high tide. So yeah, pretty cool. This next part, we're just getting to the spot. It is swampy as, looks so overgrown. Um, yeah, it looks like no one's been here since last time. It's about a year ago. So anyways, a few scratches, but all good. All good. All good. Let's sit back and listen. <laughs> all right. Keep going. Good stuff, mate. Oh. Fill it up. Yep, you're clear. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so overgrown. Oh, it doesn't sound good. Swampy as. The 
faster you go, the less sounds it makes. <laughs> oh. oh sh How do you feel, mate? Oh, I feel alright. You gotta go to the right, you gotta go right more if you can. Yeah. See it all in the face. The hurt. Oh, yeah. So here is our camp spot. We've got a few swags going up. And yeah, we're trying to work out where we're going to set up. But this is Catherine Hill Bay. Yeah, it's, you can tell it's very swelly today. They're saying it's like a three meter as well. Uh, so fishing is going to be a bit difficult. We've got the shark hole down there. Uh, it's very rough, but on this side, in this bay area, it kind of comes down. Um, there's about a, say that's probably like an 80 meter drop off. Um, so this is a cliff face. And um, yeah, we're going to get set up now, have some lunch, and then we might go for a fish. everyone. Nice and hey. morning. Hey. Cameron. Cheers. Corona. Mm. Oh, that was good, mm. eh? Thank you. Should have brought a bottle of that one. Thank you. Alright, we're going for a fish. The conditions are pretty rough, so we're going to have to find a spot. It's going to go for a squid, but it doesn't look like uh, it's happening. Is it bad? No chance. You're not, you're not crossing that. Really? Yeah, it's a bit of a washing machine. So this side is heaps better. Big difference. A lot better on this side. So, you know, these conditions are changing constantly, so we're going to have to be moving around. <laughs> We're not going down there. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is probably that bad. Let's chuck it out for fun. Send it. deal was, the fishy cami doesn't catch me a fish, he's walking back to Flowers Drive. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a washing machine, but I think this is a, a decent spot. It's a nice little reef which runs all the way around and the squid is coming off that. It's my favourite spot over there. I don't think we're going there today. Maybe tomorrow, but we'll have to see. No good, it's just a washing machine. Uh, no fishing tonight, I guess. Must be tonight, Anna. Yeah. Try again. I got it. Yes, sir. Let's go check out. Check out what Marcus is doing. Marcus is on dinner tonight. Always, hey. always on dinner. Oh yeah, he's always on dinner. Always cooking the same thing. But he owes me a. He owes me pork. We well, said we're getting there. ramen and shavapi. Mm. And another really some? good noodle is uh, I don't know what this is. Black garlic. Black garlic. I showed the other one last time. The 
Hong Kong one. Kaiyu is black. Yeah, Kaiyu is black. Black garlic ramen. Kami, the fire engineer. Just watch out, it doesn't light up the whole whole pile. No, I won't. Good morning everyone. We um, yeah, had a great night. This place is very well covered, so it was a bit windy on, on top of this cliff face, but um, yeah, not much wind noise. And it's just really nice to hear the ocean noises and falling asleep. Unfortunately, it is really rough. There's no way we can fish this. And um, yeah, this was actually part of the plan for the weekend. But oh well, we'll come back with some. We've been so spoiled by the past five trips the weather's been well the conditions have been amazing so we can't complain next time we'll be back we've had a really slow morning and obviously we haven't done too much just been chilling around the campfire and I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of this little campsite I think it's actually enough to fit about three to four cars so I've got my car parked up there Marcus has got the Hilux there you could probably fit another car there and definitely a car there with a rooftop tent as well so um, here's our campsite got a couple swags going uh, this fire is on its way out and yeah I was in my Oz tent last night the RS1 and yeah it's really nice um, heaps of room got my little box up here to power my electric blanket and also some USB ports um, enough room for a bag and yeah um, Esky's doing so well on 69% this morning and yeah ran the electric blanket the whole night it was really toasty in there I'm loving this swag the setup is so much easier compared to the big daddy swags two minutes to set up we're just gonna start heading back out um, the climb up is gonna be really tough it's obviously a, a big hill and uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna be unscathed on our way out but you know who knows we've been watching whales breaching this morning and yeah, it's such a nice spot Here's a mud guard. I think I might need to get some new guards actually because uh, those mounts look bent. How strong are these mud flaps? Enough to bend aluminium. He managed to fit three slags in this car. So this is what happened to my N70. Just so overloaded. But this N80 has done really well with the locker. Two inch with 33s. Real nice car. Anyways, we're going to head out. Um, yeah, this, the challenge today is that big uh, hill climb. Um, I'm a bit nervous about that one because it's deteriorated a lot since we last came here. I reckon we'll have to send Marcus up first because he's got a winch. Um, but yeah, so far no winch, no problems. All right, so Denzel needs a four-wheel drive. I want everyone to comment below which four-wheel drive he should get, the 79 or the N80. Yeah, <laughs> which one do you want? Oh, I like Hilux SR5, all right. <laughs> what do you reckon, Marcus? 79 or N80? 76. <laughs> 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 Cameron's like looking at the wall coming up to him. <laughs>
she has another dent. That first dent hurts. The first scratch hurts, but the first dent hurts more. Another dent, another, another dollar. Dent. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna fall in a bit, yeah. Yeah, you're up. Marcus doing a bit of physio. Ready? 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 Yeah. Oh! oh how many how many vertebrae did you break? Too vertebrae. Many. <laughs> Stop mucking around. <laughs> and that's it for the episode, guys. I want to thank my friends for joining me on this uh, little journey, even though we couldn't go fishing. Um, but yeah, the cars went great, and I hope hope you guys had a good time. First timers? Yeah, it was good. What do you guys reckon? Fun. Yeah? Alright, I reckon they'll be back. So <laughs> Yeah, sweet. See ya. See ya.